Today, I'm going to show you how to export Blender files to Unreal Engine using my add-on Polylink. This add-on makes it incredibly easy to transfer your Blender files over to Unreal with some handy extra features, making the workflow between the two seamless. First, open your project in Blender. If you haven't already, install Polylink. Once it's installed, you're ready to start sending objects to Unreal. Select the object or multiple objects you want to export. The first time you do this, you'll need to locate your Unreal Engine project folder. So right click and then click on Set Up Blender to Unreal Export. Just locate your Unreal Engine project folder, go into the content folder and confirm that as your export destination. If you want, you can select a specific subfolder to keep things organized. And that's it, you're all set up. This only needs to be done once and after that, Polylink will remember your export path. Now let's export our objects. Simply right click, select Export to Unreal and if you've selected multiple objects, you'll see a Combine Meshes checkbox. This option merges your selected objects into one mesh in Unreal while keeping them separate in Blender. Super useful for making adjustments later without affecting the original model. Now head over to Unreal Engine and you'll have one prompt to import all. Hit that and you'll find your new Blender export folder with all your materials, textures, and static meshes there. Please note, some materials may not transfer correctly to Unreal Engine if they are procedurally generated or heavily dependent on Blender's node-based system. This isn't a limitation of Polylink, but rather a common issue with any Blender to Unreal export, whether done manually or through an add-on. To ensure your materials transfer properly, we recommend baking them into image textures before exporting. This one, for example, is a material all made with image textures, so there's no issues with transfer. Okay, back to the video. We're actively working on making this folder structure cleaner in a future update, but for now, you can manually organize the assets to suit your workflow. Now let's bring our exported mesh into the scene. Simply drag and drop it from the content browser into your level. Before we start exploring, we need to adjust the collision settings. Open up the mesh settings and for accuracy, set the collision complexity to use complex collision as simple. Now we're ready to explore the scene. With everything set up, you can focus on refining materials, adjusting lighting, and bringing your world to life. No extra saved files, no tweaking settings every time. It's all ready to go with one click of a button. Now, that's not all this add-on does. We also have more features to share with you. So let's jump back into Blender, and this time we will select just one object. Right click, and this time we will select Add New Folder and Export. This will allow us to create a folder in Unreal Engine from Blender. So give it a name and hit Export. Once again, in Unreal Engine, select Import All, and you'll find your new folder with your object inside. Again, easily drag this straight into your world. But wait, you might notice that the pivot point is off. This happens because Polylink preserves Blender's original pivot point during export. The good news, it's an easy fix. Just head back to Blender, adjust your pivot point where you want it, and re-export the model. Polylink will update the existing file in Unreal automatically. Now this brings us to another powerful feature, Live Link. This is still a work in progress and can be quite heavy if left running continuously, but when used correctly, it can speed up your workflow. Live Link allows you to work on your model in Blender, and every time you make an update, like adjusting geometry in edit mode, it will automatically re-import the changes into Unreal Engine once you tab out. But for large complex scenes, this can be performance intensive, so we recommend manually exporting with Polylink when you're happy with your changes. When you're finished, just right click and disable Live Link, and your scene will remain unchanged in Unreal until the next manual export. Now let's talk about another feature. Polylink also supports skeletal meshes. For example, here we have a rigged character. To export it, simply select both the rig and the mesh, then right click and choose export to Unreal, just like before. It will let you know it's detected a skeletal mesh. Once exported, we can jump over to Unreal. You'll see a new import pop up. All you need to do is make sure skeletal mesh is enabled, then hit import all. And just like that, your skeletal mesh is successfully imported into Unreal Engine, ready to go. So that's Polylink a simple yet powerful tool to bridge the gap between Blender and Unreal Engine. From seamless exports and custom folder management to live link updates and skeletal mesh support, this add-on makes the entire process smoother and more efficient. The link to Polylink is in the description, so be sure to check it out. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment with any questions or feature requests. And as always, happy creating.